One or more sections of vein will be taken from the leg, thigh, or chest wall, and the incision at those points will be sutured and bandaged. Then your doctor will make a vertical incision in the center of the chest. Skin and other tissue will be pulled back in order to expose the breastbone. Your doctor will carefully divide the breastbone and a special instrument called a retractor will be used to hold the chest open. Once your doctor has a clear view of the heart, he or she will make an incision in the pericardium, a thin membrane that encloses the heart. Pulling the pericardium back will reveal the beating heart. Next, the surgeon will gently rotate the heart to the right in order to allow access to the heart's underside. Using veins taken from another part of your body, the team will begin to build new paths for blood, bypassing the blocked areas of the old artery or arteries. The team will attach as many new veins as needed to the underside of the heart. Then the doctor will gently rotate the heart back to its normal position. To complete the bypass graft procedure, your doctor attaches ends of the new veins on either side of the diseased area or areas of the old coronary artery. Blood can now flow freely, avoiding the clogged areas that had caused your symptoms. The pericardium can now be closed over the heart. Your doctor will position two separate drainage tubes in the chest cavity. These tubes prevent fluid from building up around the heart during the healing process. The breastbone is closed with metal wire. And the remaining tissue is closed with sutures. A sterile bandage is applied.